Well, hey guys, this is Alex, and no, I did not make this up. This is apparently a master lock, uh, some type of firearm lock. Um, it specifically says not to use it on a loaded gun. There's a picture of it there on a Glock looking thing. Um, apparently you're supposed to shove the uh, shielded part into the magazine while on, actually no, you're supposed to put the metal part in the magazine while leave the shielded part on the outside, and that protects your gun from would be um, children and uh, bad doers. Um, this was given to me as a, a present by uh, a gentleman that I purchased some stuff from on eBay, so I thought that was kind of nice um, and apropos. So I just had, hadn't even opened the keys. I picked it a few times uh, just for giggles. But uh, so here's the lock. It's, uh, you know, it's reasonably substantial in size, a lot bigger than most of your. Uh, the little ones, um, and it has a dimple key. Holy crap, maybe this is a high security lock. It, it looks like it might even have five pins. So put the key in, turn the key, lock opens. Um, double ball bearings, um, key retaining, uh, you know, it's actually got some nice features. Um, and that's about where the fun ends. So let me set this up in the vise and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how hard it is to open. There it is. So that was uh, reasonably quick, um, just to show you that it does open. Um, but what I found was that not only does it open with a diamond, and I don't normally use, well, I sometimes do, but I don't normally use diamonds to open um, dimple cylinders, um, but you can even rake it. Now, this is a, also a Peterson diamond, but it's the, uh, it's the thin one, so it's a little more flexible, which it's a lot more flexible. And I figured we could just rake it open. Um, it's kind of, you know, the diamonds were originally designed as rakes, so um, you can even get it in there. Um, it's actually, it's actually up so, there it is, up so false that it doesn't want to open. If we had a, the equivalent of a Bogota, we could uh, probably get that open pretty easily. Now, I can't find the key. There it is. The key to me looks like it could have five pins. One, two, three, four, five. And maybe I'm just missing them, but, or four maybe. But um, I'd say that opens pretty easily. Anyway, uh, thank you to whoever on eBay sent this to me. Um, you're very welcome. And uh, yeah, I would say that, uh, you know, given the choice between this and many of the other gun locks I've seen, this is a pretty nice one, um, chrome plated, Got some plastic on it to protect your weapon and whatever's around it. Um, certainly, if you end, if you can figure out how to install this on a loaded gun, well, don't do that. But um, it even looks like it might have a removable core, but it doesn't. Anyhow, um, kind of a neat lock. Um, better than most masters I've played with, um, but still, um, you know, if they uh, kicked up the tolerances here a little bit, this might actually be a challenging little lock to work with. Anyhow, thanks for watching. This is Alex. Have fun and please keep it legal. And if you're a gun owner, um, you know, one of these wouldn't be bad. Gun safe, uh, Fort Knox pistol box, whatever works for you. But um, keep your kids, keep your guns out of the hands of children. Um, and uh, don't be an idiot. And keep it legal. Cheers.